Hello guys! Today we're going to look at uh, my new Blue Smart charger for car batteries. Let's start with a short unboxing, shall we? Oh la la! That's all in the box. One uh, manual. Um, plastic bit, this. And a charger. What is uh, fancy, great, whatever thing with this? Is you can have uh, three batteries. It delivers 20 amps, delivered over the three batteries. And it has a Bluetooth interface so you can watch it on your cell phone. Let's take a look. This plastic piece is just to cover the... When you're done hooking it up. Looks much prettier. Anyway, here we have uh, three batteries. All more or less defect. Let's see how the charger uh, cope with the load of them. Yes. Okay. Here we have the charger and the battery, all almost completely wired up. Here's the app, Victron Connect. Let's push it. See what's happening. There we have it. The 12 volt, 20 amps, and uh, three outputs like we see on this. When you connect it, all the lights will flash in random pattern. And here we have it. 14.4 volt approximately. Absorption charge. And uh, let's connect the other batteries. Let's see, I don't have only one. Oh, went to straight up to 20 amps. And the last one. Okay. This is also fan code, so it has a fan in the end, end there somewhere. Yeah, voltage same. Let's see what this is? The graph in absorption charge, recondition, float condition, storage condition. You can also do some tricks. Tricks or tricks. Normal plus recondition. You can uh, change to high voltage, high voltage and reconditioning. Lie on battery. You have 20 amps, or you can go to 10 amps. And uh, 10 amps and night mode. I figured out is the same because if you change to night night mode, you also go into 10 amp. Uh, here. If I manage to do it, if I change to 20 amps, you see the night mode turn off, go to 10 amp, night mode on. It's possible the same, let's see, 20 amp, night mode off, 10 amp, night mode on. And the same if you do, oh, little short fingers. Yes, if I press this one, slide, it's the correct word, it goes to 10 amp, night mode, slide back, 20 amp, night mode off. And now it's in normal charge, 14.4. All exits are separate, so you can put this in your car at all the time, and it will not discharge your battery. So, yeah, the way it looks like a mess, but this is just to show you how it's done. Never use tin wires like this in uh, such a big amperage. Amper ratings. Okay, I think uh, that should be all. Is there something more to show here? No, we can't see the phone because it's inside here somewhere. Yeah, 
Uh, one more thing, if you turn off the, let the phone turn off it, then it will start to blink when it's connected again, and it will be back on after a few seconds. Now 12.1 amps in this test, and the battery, which is the baddest one, is this one. So if I disconnect, let's see this one, put it like this, disconnect now. No, not work. This is the same, and if I disconnect the other one, this red one, yeah, went on one amps. If I disconnect this one, of course, then it's no battery connected. So if I disconnect this one back, yeah, you see that battery is almost okay. So this one is the Problem one, the least charge. Okay. That's about it. Nice charger, nice app, Bluetooth. Should be exciting to put it in my Vanagon because there I want to have two batteries. Of course, one for starting and one for laser. So I will get back to you later this spring when I install it in the Vanagon. Show me how it's done properly with the correct wire size and everything. And about wire size. Car audio wires is the correct one you can use. Because they are usually thick and nice. Like I say, get back to you later. Oi, sorry. Okay, I forgot to tell you. You can also, of course, change the mode with this button. Yeah. Back to normal. So you don't you don't need a phone to do it on the Bluetooth. Also manual. I think uh, there you have it. It is uh, fused by a 30 amp fuse as well. So yeah. I don't think there is more to say. At least not now. See you.